Hello, kids. I was waiting for y'all to come. Today, I'll be telling you the story about how people began to help one another after they received the Holy Spirit from God. Soon after God sent the Holy Spirit to the believers, a number of wonderful things began to happen. The believers were amazed at the power they had because of the Holy Spirit. They were filled with love and care for one another, and this concern was only from God. The believers met and gathered together constantly, and they enjoyed each other's company. They helped each other with whatever they needed, and there was no selfishness among them. They shared everything they had, food, clothing, and also money. Some of them even sold the lands they owned, their houses, and other material possessions. And with that money, they helped and shared it with those in the young church. Because of all their care and generosity, there was no one who was actually poor. The believers worshipped together at the temple every day, and not just once in a week. They met one another at each other's home and shared the Lord's Supper and meals too. They loved being together and praising God, and every day God added more people to their group. The young church was growing very quickly. I hope you enjoyed the story, and you will learn to love and care more for people and help others when they need your help. Oh uh, yes, Holly, we will. I promise to love everyone around me and share my things with people when they need help. We will too. I know you are good children. Well, do you want me to ask you a question now? No, not today. Please, Holly, please. Ha ha ha! All right. I won't ask you any questions today, since you promised to be good all your life. Yay! Come, kids. I have already decided on a story I'm going to tell you today. Yay! Let's not waste any more time. Go on with the story. All right. Right before Jesus went back to his home, to heaven, he had promised to the people that the Holy Spirit would come and give them immense power and strength to spread the message of God's love to the rest of the world. Then it was up to them if they wanted to come together or not. Jesus' believers came together for strength and to work as God's people, and that is how the young church was born. However, to spread God's message to the rest of the world was not always easy for them. Seven weeks later, after Jesus came back to life, Jesus' believers were together in one place. Suddenly, they heard a powerful, strong, roaring wind, like a storm inside the room. A little later, Something like little flames of fire, too, appeared in the room. A flame floated around the room and settled on each and every person present there. The men realized that it was nothing but the Holy Spirit, which Jesus had promised that God would send. The people were filled with the Holy Spirit, and they soon began speaking in different languages, and that was the gift the Holy Spirit gave them. There were a few people in Jerusalem who were from other countries of the world. They came to know about the commotion among the believers, so they went to see what was going on. The people were amazed to hear their own language being spoken by people from Galilee. How is this happening? They asked one another. These people are from Galilee. 
but they're speaking the languages of Asia, Egypt, Cyrene, and Rome. They're saying wonderful things about God, and we can understand it. However, though some people were amazed by this, there were some in the crowd who thought that the believers had just gone crazy. Peter stood up, and the other disciples stood up with him. He said, None of us here are mad. What you're seeing here is what was predicted years ago by the prophet Joel. He had said, God says that in the last days I will pour out my spirit on the people. They will prophesy and I will cause wonders in the heaven. Those who will call out my name will be saved. Peter continued, Listen to me carefully. God had said that Jesus of Nazareth is his son. He performed miracles, but you people crucified him. But God raised him from the dead, and we all know that is true. Now, he is back in heaven with his Father, and he has given us his Holy Spirit. That is why we now have the power to speak in different languages, so that we can spread God's message and his love. The people were both confused and amazed at what Peter had said. They asked, So what should we do now? Stop sinning and follow God. Be baptized in the name of Jesus and accept forgiveness of your sins. And you shall receive the Holy Spirit too. Many people believed what Peter said and about 3,000 people were baptized and added to the young church on that very day. So, did you like the story? Oh yes! What is today's question? Ask me, and I shall answer it correctly. Ha 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 ha! So the question is, how many people were added to the young church on that day? Three thousand! That's right! Now it's time for my nap. Until next time, keep watching!